for all the students opting to give JE Main 2015 exam, we bring this tutorial on how to correctly fill your application form because trust us when we say 100% of your success depends on filling the application form correctly. Well, why 100%? Because you will not be allowed to sit for the exam if your form isn't accepted by the concerned authorities. So jokes apart, let's get on with filling the JE Main 2015 form. The first step here is going to go to the JE Main website and um, here you can see it. On this website, you need to click on this link here in blue which reads Apply for JE Main 2015. After clicking this link, you land on this page which allows new candidates to register and shows the steps they need to follow to complete the registration process. The page has a separate section for candidates who have already registered. They can log in here and check the examination details, download their admit card, check their results, etc. Okay, so since most of us are new registrants, so we will click on this link here. Okay, on this page that's displayed here, you can go through all the instructions and procedures that you need to follow for successfully submitting your JE main application form. All candidates are advised to thoroughly go through all these important instructions so that they don't make any mistakes while filling the form. After going through these instructions, you can see this little box here that asks if you have downloaded the JMain information brochure. You can check this if you have downloaded the booklet like we have. And if you do, do not check it, even then you will be allowed to fill your form. Okay, further to proceed towards filling the form, you need to click here and Yes, here you can see your JE main form being displayed. It's a long form and we advise that you fill each and every field with full attention. The first section in the form is about the exam related details. Here you need to select the exam you're applying for. Uh, and when you click here, a drop down opens. You can select either paper one for BE, BTEC only, paper two for BARC or B planning. Or you can select both paper 1 and paper 2. Uh, so if you're planning to give only the BTEC entrance exam, then you click on this uh, option here. Then you have the option to select for uh, from pen and paper based exam and computer based test. Here if you select the pen and paper based test, then you would have to fill in your top four exam center choices. But um, here we would like to embrace technology and so we are selecting the computer based test. Okay, immediately another field opens where you need to select the exam center of your choice uh, and here uh, we are selecting Delhi. Next, you need to select the medium of instruction for your entrance exam. You have the option to select from Hindi and English. Okay, um, this done. In the next section, you have to fill in your personal details. You enter your name here followed by your father's name and then your mother's name. Next, you need to select your state of eligibility. Clicking in this field, a box explaining the same opens up. Here you have to select the state from which you have passed your class 12th or your equivalent exam. Next, you have to select the category from general, SC, ST and OBC under whichever you fall. Here also a box opens which explains how a candidate should fill this specific field. Next, we fill a no in the person with disability field. Then you need to select your date of birth and you need to fill it here in this field. Um, here there is a small question mark here. On clicking this, you will be provided some instructions on how to fill this field. Next, you select the gender. And for girls, here is an extra field which they have to select if they are the only child of their parents. Next, you need to select your nationality followed by place of residence. After this, there is an optional field to fill your Aadhaar card number if you have one. Okay, this done. This completes your second set of declaration fields in your JE main form. Next, one needs to fill the academic qualifications. Here, first of all, you need to select the year of completing your class 10th, which here in this case is 2013, followed by the name of your class 12th board, which here is CBSC. Next, one needs to fill the name of the qualifying exam passed or the one in which they are going to appear. Next, you need to select from city, town or village to specify the place from where you did your class 12 schooling. 
After this, you need to select the year in which you will be completing your class 12th. Then you need to select the type of institute of your qualifying exam from government or private followed by the percentage scored in class 12th or qualifying exam. Here, since most of the students would not have appeared for the final exam, we are leaving the field empty. Also, the roll number for class 12 CBSE exams are not yet allotted, so we will leave the next field also empty. Next, you have to mention if you are appearing for improvement in the class 12th or qualifying exam, the answer to which in our case is no and it's already being displayed because we have already mentioned that we are yet to appear for our class 12th. Then you have to select your mode of preparation from self-study, individual tuition, coaching, corresponding courses and others. So if you're pursuing some kind of coaching, you can select the option here. Next, you need to mention the name and address of the school from which you're going to appear in your class 12 board exams. In the next section, you need to specify your mailing details. Here you need to mention your address, locality, your city, district, state, PIN code, email address, mobile number, and landline with the STD code. Ensure that you fill all these details, otherwise an error field will be shown when you finally submit your form. In the next section of the J Main 2015 form, you need to fill the details of your guardians, which here are your father and your mother. You need to fill in details about their education qualifications, occupation, as well as annual income. Next, you need to create a password for your account. On clicking the field for the password, a pop-up box opens up which specifies the criteria on the basis of which you need to create your new password. These are like the password should be at least 8 to 13 character long, it should have at least one uppercase and one lowercase alphabet, it should have a numeric value and at least one special character. Next you need to select a security question and mention an answer for it as well. This will prove helpful just in case you forget your account password. The final field to be filled in your JE main form is the security pin, which you fill up here in this field. Then you have two buttons. Either you can reset your form and fill it again or submit the details you have mentioned in the form. Okay, so an error window has opened here, which is saying that the security pin did not match. In such a case, you need to close this window here and thereafter you are led back to your form. Here you will have to enter all your account details again and after you do that and add the security pin again, you click on sub the submit button here. So now we get a pop-up box that asks us to review our form and make any changes we want to. So we close this box and our filled up application form is reflected before us. Applicants are advised to thoroughly go through the form and edit any field that they would like to. If as per you, everything is correct in your form, then you go to the declaration section and click the I agree box here. And then you click on the final submit button. A prompter opens up which asks you to again confirm if you want to submit your form and we click on a yes here. And voila, your application number is generated. And the page that you can see before you has all the details about the image you need to upload with the application form. Below all these details, there's a link that reads upload scanned image. And you have to click on it to upload your image for the application form. On the next page, you have to upload the photograph, signature and thumb impression as per the specifications mentioned on this page. And after you do this, you have to click on the preview button. After this step has been completed, the applicants are led onto the pay examination fee page. And after they pay the application fee, the registration process is complete. So go ahead with filling the application form for JMAIN 2015 and successfully complete the first step in appearing for the entrance exam to be conducted in April next year. Until then, Shiksha.com wishes you all the best.